This is your genuine ghost, LRH, back with another video of Guardians of the Galaxy, lads. Now, going in to our finale episode, episode 5, as the galaxy is threatened once again, and the stakes grow even more personal. Peter must rally the Guardians against their greatest challenge yet themselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't stop believing. That's the name of the episode. Of course, we shall start. Go. I'm absolutely enjoying this and I cannot wait to complete this. The finale episode. What will happen, I wonder? Because bloody Drax died in the last episode or the one before. It was just so... was not expecting that. It was such an epic scene. It honestly was one of the best scenes I have seen Previously ever. On Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> one of the best scenes I've seen. I'm well, sorry. you'll see now. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. You were too weak, too selfish to destroy the Forge. Now our empire, our people shall rise again. I mean it this time, man. When we get out of here, I'm out. And I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hobart and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. That was, that was one way of doing it. This is it. It's all on this episode now. It's all on this. It's all... Oh, it's just me and Rocket right now. Everyone else has left. Groot, Gamora, Mantis... Jeez, I was... <laughs> this is something else, this game. This game, Telltale series, are absolutely brilliant. This is why this game series adapts to the choices you make, stories tailored by how you play. That's exactly why Next all time. Telltale is series games are brilliant. You Eight or nine rounds, uh, then we find oh, Hoth. <laughs> we have breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. I'll see if that drink maker can pour us something stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the Star Lord. That's caused nothing but trouble for Allah. Are you not? I need your help. Help. Funny way of asking. I got a funny way of asking. Most people don't point a gun in my face when they want my help. Look, I... my... my name is Baldin, son of Hala, the Accuser. You've seen what my mother is capable of, the weapon she now has in her possession. You want to stop her, right? Let us work together. No more people have to die. It could be advantageous for everyone. I'm not helping you with squat until you put the gun down. Not until you agree to help me. Are you kidding me? The opposite of what I asked for. I risked my life. Risked treason to my people. I just so I could find you and stop my mother from destroying our. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys having a party that didn't invite me? Rocket, this is Baldin, Hala's son. He wants to help us. Wait, wait, wait! Hala's friggin' son? Now, I'm not buying. The Kree. 
who've been trying to kill us, need I remind you, don't just offer their help. Not to us, at least. Trust me, he isn't some evil mastermind. He seems really nervous. Yeah, you know who <laughs> else gets really nervous? People who got something to hide. But you know, he's probably got valuable intel on Harlow. If we knew he was telling the truth. Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm sorry that I bothered you. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're not going anywhere, friend. Rocket? What are you doing, Pete? I'll be back in a chip. What? <laughs> so you could just take off a oh, fine. So what does he want? He just got brought back to life and... I don't know. Hmm. It's a weird one. Ah. Uh. Ruth, sorry that took so long. She uh, wasn't too keen on coming back here. Mantis will be able to tell if the kid's lying or not. Yeah. This is why you dragged me back. You said it was life or death. I am. It you is. Want to use my powers as some sort of lie test. I don't have to put up with this. Come on, Groot. Let's go. I know you're upset, Mantis, but please. We need your help. Help you with what? Interrogating a very frightened Cree? I don't think so. This isn't just some random Cree. This is Hala's son. I'm Groot? Your mother is very mean. <laughs> okay, I'll help. But I'm doing this for the galaxy, not for you. Fine. I'll ask the questions. You just tell me if he's lying or not. All right. Oh, are you done talking about me like I'm not here? Yep, we're done. Not that being treated like I'm invisible is anything new. Reminds me of home. Drop the attitude, man. You're already on thin ice, and I can make this a whole lot worse for you. My friend Mantis here is an empath, which means she'll know if you're lying, so <laughs> tell the truth. Right. Why did you come here? It is as I said before. I came here to stop my mother and save my people. The Kree had a mistaken view on superiority. If we were truly great, we would lead by example, not by force. Well, I'll be damned. I've seen it all. A pacifist Kree. Only through acceptance of all kinds will we be able to grow and prosper. I don't know. Can the Kree really change? I believe they can. My people, they just need new leadership. <laughs> that sounds like you've got someone in mind for the job. Oh, I had never really considered it. Really? You sure you want to go with that, or would you like to try again? Okay, okay. Maybe I have considered it. Okay, okay. I know, as long as Hala continues to lead the Kree, they will never change. And I... I can't help but feel responsible. My mother... She wasn't always like this. She used to be different. I am Groot. So tell me, what was Hala like? She was uncompromisingly strict, as a leader and a parent. It was her way or no one's way. But I thought she truly loved her people. She didn't kill like this before. I have a proposition. I am Hala's only child. If she thinks you are keeping me hostage, it would emotionally compromise her. She'll become careless. It could give you the advantage you need to defeat her, freeing the Kree from her rule. All I ask in return for my cooperation is when the time comes, you must promise to spare her life. This is mounds upon mounds of crap. He just wants to use us so he can rule the Kree himself. Please, there has been enough death. 
I am Groot. We've already got him as bait. We don't need to take his deal. Couldn't you use him as an ally? Ah! Ugh. That's a difficult one. Do I keep her alive? See, the thing is, though. I don't know, because the Eternity Forge is usable. Obviously, we do have to kill for its work. Now, uh, if I promise, this doesn't mean I'm guaranteed gonna not kill her, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I could accept the offer, I could reject the offer. Because, oh, I could bring back Drax. I could. I honestly could. And the thing with that, you have to kill someone. Oh, it's so annoying. For now, I'll accept his offer. Okay. You got a deal. You help us take down Hala, and we promise to keep her alive. Thank you, Star Lord. Your word is your bond, as is mine. All right. I'm still going to be sleeping with one eye open. I just want a new path forward for my people. Don't even think about making trouble for us. Let's take a walk back to the ship, pal. <laughs> pal. But even with Baldin's help, do we still have a chance? You gotta try some. Hala is Gonna armed with a devastating weapon. Combined with the forge, there's no stopping her. I am Groot. The Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It wasn't all bad, Mantis. We had plenty of good times. Come on, Groot, help me out here. I am Groot. What... What is it? Oh. Do we get to see into his memory? Huh? Oi! Groot's memory. Another rodent and tree duo out there. Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes! And caught red handed. I'm telling you, <laughs> I just got one of those faces that looks guilty. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. <laughs> Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. We're controlling what Groot says, worry, but in translation to I am Groot. As soon as they lock us up, I'm going to go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. <laughs> oh. Who's... <gasps> Drax. Oh, <boy. laughs> hey. I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. You would hardly be satisfying, though. I am Groot. And I. Drax the Destroyer, <laughs> do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon and I did not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off. All right. All right. Make room for one more. They don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Yay, they're all together. Who is this loser? Call me Star Lord. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard of me, especially you. Definitely not. No. Nope. Well, now you 
have. I am Groot. Really? Him? Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Um... Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. Who's that guy? <laughs> I can tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. <laughs> We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. <laughs> Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. I am Groot. Fighting isn't gonna get us anywhere. We need to work together. Hey, to admit it, <laughs> Stash Lord is right. We're fighting the wrong people. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it. Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Oh. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Ah. Uh, we're gonna have to eat it all. I like Groot already. Once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. <laughs> uh -huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. <laughs> Say that again. just casual, you know, the usual. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's like a horror film now. Glam, <laughs> let's not mess this up. <gasps> oh, that's where the plant came from. And take the coffee mug. <gasps> okay, good thing you didn't notice. Very good. Very good. Huh? <gasps> oh. Is that you, Rooks? Oh. How do I get it then? How does one go again? <laughs> it's one way of doing it. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die. But know that I will never forget you. <laughs> Got it. Or we could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think <laughs> this is the beginning of a beautiful friend. Escape. You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was gonna say friendship, but escape will do. <laughs> nice. Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where it all began. I, I was wrong about you guys. There's a reason you all ended up together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense. But somehow it works. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. Then let's go get them back. I am Listen. Jeez, that is chapter one complete of episode five. Yeah, damn, step. 
bleeding. Nice of you three to show up. Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis. You were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have huh? an idea. What? You're going to love it. That was going on. I'll do that and just pause it there before I find out. <laughs> and we'll continue with that in the next episode. So for now, that'll now be it for this episode of Guardians of the Galaxy. This has been your genuine ghost. Tell our H now done for the day, lads. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.